I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm talking this loud. I'm at my desk right now. I'm trying to, trying to. Trading stocks and having a nine to five successfully is very possible. I've done it myself. After following certain rules and strict processes, you'll start to see consistent profits and spend less time in front of the computer screen. So how can you effectively trade stocks with your nine to five? Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how you can successfully trade stocks and options while maintaining a full-time job, okay? Learning to master trading is going to increase your income outside of your nine to five without having to take on the risk of full-time entrepreneurship. Katie, listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore. A lot of the time, what keeps us from making consistently profitable trades are one of three things. A lack of a trading system, not having any type of trading plan, okay? So remember, you have to begin with the end in mind. And lastly, a lack of accountability. Now, if you don't have a group of like-minded people that are trading with you to keep you accountable, make sure you scroll down below and join my options trading group of over 300 options traders, okay? So you won't be alone in your trades. Now, even if you do have a group, sometimes you might feel like you're missing trades or you know, you're know you chasing trades and making rush decisions. If you're randomly flipping through different time frames looking for answers, this is what you would consider emotional trading and it can cost you a lot of money. It's not you, it's your process or lack thereof. So we're gonna go through a routine and tips to help you trade better and less often. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is find your ultimate trading style that's gonna suit your availability and what you're interested in. And the two main types of trading styles that I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with are gonna be day trading and swing trading, but there's also scalping. They have leap options where you're gonna have a long buy and hold on option trades for over six months. You're gonna wanna know all of this because that's gonna change your search criteria, the chart timeframes that you're looking at, and also your entry and exit confirmation. And when you're working in your nine to five, whether that's an office, a classroom, or in a car, in a kitchen, or whatever type of setting, you might not have access to your phone the way that you would like to. Honestly, I would suggest you swing trade. And so if you do decide that swing trading is gonna be your thing, then you'll enter a trade, hold it for a certain amount of time or for a certain profit profit margin so if you want 30 percent on the negative a stop loss so cut your losses quickly now before you even trade you're going to want to have all of this information written down in your trading plan way before you even enter your trade the most money you're going to make is when you wait for your setup to fall through and your trading plan goes you know goes in your favor plan to hold purchases long enough for them to gain value now if you keep shuffling in and out of a few positions then you're usually gonna end up with a lot of losses and those start to add up. Prepare and create a watch list of stocks that you go through every day. Now for me, I personally have about 20 stocks that I look through. These are the ones that, gonna, that I'm going to be looking at outside of what's going on in the news or earnings reports. When I look at these, I'm gonna start by looking with the weekly chart, then I'm gonna move down to the daily, and then the 30 and 50 minute chart. And this is considered the triple screen trading method, okay? Always use a strategy or filtering process with your trades. And basically that's if this happened, then this happened. Or if this didn't happen, blah, blah, blah. There's steps to it. If a stock has this volume, it's a no. If the stock isn't trending, it's a no. If the stock is trading below the 50 period moving average on the daily chart, no. Whatever you wanna choose, whatever you like, but it has to be your thing. You might be trading based on company news or stock trends or just something long term to hold. If you don't have a list of high volume stocks that you like to trade, look into ETFs. Those are called exchange traded funds and those have collections of different classes of stocks. Always do your own research. Even if you're getting these ideas or your friends or even me, due diligence is necessary. Drawing up your trades. Drawing up your trading plan is something to do at night or on the weekends. You don't wanna do this during the day because it's really no point. The market is literally in the middle of moving. so. 
This is something that you want to do before the market is actually open. More than 70% of all of the trading work happens before the trade even happens. It gets really easy to over trade when you don't have a plan. And also it doesn't hurt to have a trading limit either. So with this plan, you're going to want to have an idea of where the stock could possibly or definitely not move. Also when that could possibly happen. And you can kind of start to get an idea of how long it would take with different things like support and resistance, price history. So that's going to be your entry signals. And then also at what point would you want to close that trade? That can be split into a few different things. So that's either taking profits or cutting losses. These are all of the things that you want to know about your swing trade. And like I said, before you even press buy. Now make sure that you watch this video on easy ways to create your trading plans. All right. So I have the link somewhere here in the video. Also with your trading plan in place, setting price alerts is also going to be helpful to let you know when your trade is ready to go. Price alerts help me stay on top of everything and I don't have to, you know, sit there and watch the chart all day. Next, stick to one strategy at a time. A strategy can be a lot of things for a trader, and that can include the indicators you use, the chart patterns that you look at, like crossover methods or overbought, oversold zones. So you'll only enter a bullish position with the candle close above a moving average, something like that. One of the easiest bad trading habits to develop is jumping from system to system. Mm -mm. You have to find what works for you. And when you trade like this, it's going to be less likely to see consistent winning trades because all of your trades are going to look completely different over time. There's not going to be a lot of continuity there. Know your desired risk to reward ratio. So how much are you willing to lose to gain this certain amount of money? And I usually say that you shouldn't risk more than five to 10% of your entire portfolio on any trade, a little bit more room. So as far as profits, you can look to take profits on about 30 to 50% on a trade. Now, lastly, here are some steps and practices that I recommend you do when you're trading at work or on the job. Look into buying an iPad with a cellular account. Do your trades on the cellular service so that when you leave, there's no trace of what you've been doing on the company data system. I would say you need to find time during the day where you can set aside a couple of minutes to check out the stock chart at lunch or during breaks. Another thing, do not obsess about stocks and talking to stocks with your coworkers or doing any research on company time or on company property. Most times they don't care. They don't own stocks. They're not worried about stocks. They are not going to relate to what you're interested in. Just plan to make your trades very quick. So you're not spending a lot of time actually placing your orders. And what's going to help that is actually having your trading plan. So start with making your watch list and then move towards making your trading plans. If this was helpful for you guys, make sure that you click that thumbs up button for me. It really helps the channel. Also subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you later.